Hi, this is Joanna, and this is a short tutorial on using Turnitin's Feedback Studio. Your first step is going to be to navigate to the assignment folder so you can view the submissions and access Turnitin. So if you click to the assignments tab, go to the assignment you are wanting to grade. And then instead of clicking on this paper here, which will open in it in D2L's annotation tool, you want to go over here and click the pencil. This is going to open the submission in Turnitin's Feedback Studio. And if you have a number of student submissions, in this example I only have one, you will be able to toggle back and forth with these arrows on either side um, and navigate to select a submission using that down arrow as well. You have access to a number of tools within Turnitin. The first is this checkbox in a shaded box. If you click on it, you can expand and you can see a number of commonly used quick marks. And you can also scroll and pick different kinds of categories. Um, and you can add your own as well if that's something that you would like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click paraphrasing. These are things that students commonly make mistakes with with paraphrasing and you just grab the comment that you find relevant to the student and you can go ahead and drag it right in. When you're done with that, with quick marks, whatever you select, you can go ahead and click the X and it will take it back to this small option. You can also go to feedback summary and this is where you can type a summation comment to your students about their entire essay. You could put a voice comment in there if you wish as well. The next button is the rubric. If you've been attached a rubric to the assignment, you will be able to click and toggle on the uh, bars, whatever scores you would like for the different criteria, and it will populate a score at the top for you. And then you can go ahead and click apply to grade and it will populate up there. So it took the rubric scores and multiplied it out so that it would calculate to fit the grade. You can go ahead and X out again when you're done with the rubric. The next box is a similarity tool. So this will tell you where the students have sources and things like that. In this particular instance, it is automatically generated content, so it's all plagiarized. Um, you can also optionally download and you can get some more submission information, how many words it is. So if that is a particular requirement that you have and you wanna double check and make sure everything is good, you can go ahead and check that information as well. The last button is about AI writing detection and that was not something that was checked for this particular submission, but if that has a score, you would see it populate in that particular box. On the left-hand side, you can also toggle page navigation by clicking the three bars, and then you can scroll down to different pages if you would like to flip ahead to a different page. You can also click wherever you would like to make a particular comment, and a menu will pop up that will be quick access to quick mark. So all of those quick comments that you had earlier, you can also put in a personalized comment that they will have to kind of click on. You can put in links if you would like to do something like that as well, and you can add it to a quick mark so it will store it to your library. Or you can add in inline text so they do not have to expand it, and you can just give some kind of personal feedback as well. If you find that the personal feedback is not exactly where you want it, you can edit it and you can also grab the text and move it a little bit over if you would like to do that as well. You can continue to edit any comments by continuing to click on them and adding information and then students will be able to see that by clicking on that when they get their feedback. And that is the short tutorial on how to use the Feedback Studio within Turnitin. If you need any more help with this, please contact the Department of Online Learning at onlinelearning at prairiestate.edu 
or stop by my office in three, two, one, six.